Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Today I'm going to use these amazing kind of gilded cards called Universal Golden Universal Tarot. And they're really amazing. I hope they're not too glary for the uh, the lights here. By the way, did you subscribe? You were gonna, you, you were you you were gonna right? Right. Put the laptop down, and we're going to draw on the Senate today. So we'll get them mixed up because these I haven't used in quite some time. They've been locked up in a box here, and uh, honestly, what I when I use them is kind of when I'm in a room that's dark with low lighting and um, because of the gilding on here they kind of show up really well so in that kind of atmosphere but uh, we'll see how they do on the camera if they work well I'd love to use them a lot because they're a terrific deck um, we'll do a little shuffle this way and then we'll go back the other way and I think on this deck we're gonna cut these cards before we spread them out and talk about the Senate. So here we go. Golden Universal Tower. Why didn't I cut them? So let's cut them. Do one more shuffle. And go to town. So we're going to do a Celtic cross that's going to be six and four and uh, we'll take six right off the top and then we'll do the other four um, from the stack. This will be one. <laughs> I had to peek. This will be, all right, you want to come out? Two. All right. Three. Four. Five. Six. Put these over here just in frame and for these six the way these are going to go down is just like that and the first card is a signifier for the senate now remember that's the full 100 members we've got democrats and republicans what the heck is going on in those senate chambers the signifier card for that is the priestess so the priestess is um the second stop for the full along his journey and she's holding here the Torah which is book of knowledge she's standing in the gates of Solomon uh, Boaz and Joaquin which are strength and action and uh, it's surrounded by pomegranates and this beautiful girl uh, is gilded to the max but anyway so the Senate that's it kind of seems like that they should kind of be uh, regaled and um, because uh, some of the most important stuff that we're going to go through comes out of our Senate they're going to be challenged by, oh my goodness, she is judgment, or justice, I'm sorry. So she's justice, and justice is telling us um, that uh, she's not blind in this case, as a matter of fact. She's holding the scales, she's tr upholding truth, but she certainly is not blind in this case, and I think that's appropriate. So we have the um, kind of secrets of the bounty of the priestess is challenged by justice that's not blind. So the next card on the uh, Celtic cross is going to be the one of cups and the cups are talking about emotion. This uh, card is loaded with emotion overflowing peace of diving down into and so and I think that's what the Senate's probably going through right now. Tons of uh, emotional goings-ons. Uh, in the current, in the past for the Senate is going to be the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, Wands are action, fire, ideas, having getting something done. But you know the Queen, she's just a step below the King. So she has quite a lot of power, but not all-encompassing. So she relies on her instinct, on the fruitfulness of her, of her uh, kingdom. And um, she's kind of watched over by this black cat who kind of gives us an ominous uh, uh, pause here. So this in the recent past is the Queen of Wands. Up in the sky, we've got the um, 
wheel of fortune. And so the wheel of fortune tells us that um, uh, this news cycle is just beginning to turn around. Anything can happen here and uh, we'll see where it goes. So the wheel of fortune. In the uh, likely future for the Senate is temperance. And temperance is talking about you know, keeping things balanced. You've got a foot on a dry land, you've got a foot in the water, and she's really um, trying to make sure that things come out in a, in a balanced way. And that does seem kind of how the Senate is acting right now. Now in their most current environment for the Senate, this would be them really, really narrowing in on right now. And you've got here the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is or bringing forth um, an idea of, uh, in this case, could be money. Senate uh, certainly has uh, uh, been talking about that. So we'll just say that the Senate is bringing forth some sort of uh, solid bounty in the environment of the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is moving out of troubled waters, taking all, in this case, I would think, taking all the lawn and gardens that you can have with you. Gosh, is this uh, Mitch McConnell moving them out of troubled waters? Doesn't seem like it to me. But uh, that's what the Six of uh, Swords is. The hopes of the fears for the Senate is the sun. And I suppose you could say, and this is a little glare in this card, isn't it sunlight? And I suppose you could say that their hope is that they come out of this, you know, like a, like a shining uh, beacon of our democracy. <sighs> I hope they do too. But the most likely outcome for the Senate is plans for the future. And uh, this is the three of uh, wands. And uh, these are fruitful wands. These are ideas. He's got a foot up. He's really trying to get a good look into what's going on in the future. But that certainly is the, um, the purpose of the Senate anyway. So there we have it. We have a quick read on the Senate today. I'm Mark. Thanks so much. Hey, go ahead and subscribe. It's okay. Nobody will know. I'm tell us. on this journey through tarot, and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy. Ciao for now. Thank you.